The Prince Albert II anchored off Magaroya Island and once again we took to the Zodiacs to navigate the waters around the island. The rocks were alive with seabirds and as we moved around the rocks the noise increased. And no wonder as there were hundreds of kitty wakes calling loudly to defend their territory. These are razor bills. They have thicker bills than guillemots with a white stripe running from top to bottom along the bills. There were plenty of noisy gannets too. They were flying to and fro all the time, diving from a height into the sea for fish, which they chase under water. One flying off and one flying on the way back with something in its beak. These are shags, smaller and more streamlined than cormorants with a finer bill. Here's a family of shags, perhaps a mother and chicks. These are all puffins taken to flight with the Prince Albert II in the background. It was a wonderful sight and one that was very hard to video from the Zodiac. Back on the ship we saw a lot of white-tailed sea eagles flying high in the sky. These were putting on a great acrobatic display, probably for the benefit of a female. You can better see the markings on this white-tailed sea eagle set against the greenery on the rocks. Everyone is heading back to the ship now and all the Zodiacs have to be hoisted back onto the ship. It's quite a feat. The expedition team manned the last of the Zodiacs waiting their turn to be hoisted aboard. In the afternoon we headed to Nordcap, or North Cape, the English version, which is Europe's northernmost point. Some folk took to the Zodiacs and disembarked to undertake a very strenuous hike to retrace the route taken by the first visitors to the Cape prior to 1956 when the first road was built. The path wound steeply to an elevation of about 300 metres before reaching the relatively flat plateau of Nordcap. North Cape is the point where the Norwegian Sea, part of the Atlantic Ocean, meets the Barents Sea, part of the Arctic Ocean. The rest of us opted to disembark the ship at Skarsvag and made the journey to Nordcap by bus. Skarsvag is the most northern fishing village in the world and on arrival we were shown this enormous Norwegian crab. Very good to eat we were told and also very expensive per kilo to purchase. Around the village there were always plenty of reindeers to photograph. Now Nordcap is a big attraction for people from all over the world so it has the usual tourist gift shop and restaurant. There are other things, of course, of interest and the views are quite spectacular. There is also a very interesting historical account of North Cape down through the ages, depicted by lifelike models in picture windows, such as the English ship Edward Bonaventure, captained by Richard Chancellor, which passed the North Cape cliff on its search for the Northeast Passage to China in August 1553. It is believed that Captain Chancellor gave North Cape its name. On the way back to board the ship, the late afternoon sunlight showed a very picturesque Norwegian landscape. And as tourists before us, we stopped at Niels and Anna's place to view their traditional teepee and costumes. 
take photos of White Sox, their reindeer, and visit their gift shop. This is inside the teepee. The Prince Albert II prepares to set sail and part six showcases Bear Island and the Svalbard in the Arctic Ocean. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to view our still photos, please visit our website. Canvas prints, cards and magnets of these pictures and more can be purchased on our website. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash jrphotography dot web plus dot net.